Hey there, how are you doing team? Nokia Parizer here and we welcome you all to a very interesting video. As you can see, I have the Nokia 6.1 Plus in my hand and what we are going to do is to evaluate the performance of Nokia 6.1 Plus in this video. So when we talk about the performance, uh, it basically consists of two parts. One is the basic navigation or basic performance which is meant for daily tasks and then we talk about the advanced where we uh, do multitasking, heavy multitasking with many apps and many games open in the background. So the, we are going to do the same with Nokia 6.1 Plus. When we come to the heavy multitasking or like advanced tasks part, we'll see that uh, games like PUBG, uh, GTA SA, etc. Those games like four games open in the background with many browser tabs open in the background, how it will handle everything. So coming to the basic navigation first, so uh, like Nokia 6.1 plus comes powered by Snapdragon 636, which is considered to be one of the best processor for a mid-range smartphone. So obviously it's like very, very fast, very fluid. The basic navigation is really good, impressive. So if you talk about that, we really never faced any issue and the good part is that OS is polished. It's uh, the Nokia 6.1 plus comes running 8.1.0 out of the box. So that uh, gives the kind of fluidity, kind of homogeneous fluidity across the OS, which you really want to have from your device. So basically, whatever you do, uh, when it comes to basic tasks, you can uh, be sure that it will work fine. So opening the camera is uh, quite good. So it's really very, very fast. And short to short timing is quite less. It's like instantaneously. So uh, as I told you that the basic tasks like uh, opening the store, opening the can, launching the camera, etc., are quite good. Let's go to the browser. <clears throat> And you can see the browser actually responds very very fast very uh, not only the i mean the, the the initial page loading is good even the final page rendering etc is quite uh, nice actually when we talk about panning zooming etc it's very very smooth actually The scrolling is uh, quite good. It shows that the processor is really powerful because scrolling is a part in the browsing which actually uh, then you understand that actually the processor is good or not. So here you can see the scrolling is like effortless. Okay. Now what we will do is to we'll open more tabs so that it gives an idea of how many tabs uh, I mean it can handle. Actually we know that it can handle a lot. But let's just really check some things. Let's open as many tabs as we can here. And you can see uh, every tab opens quite quickly, very, very quickly. The rendering is so fast. It's quite impressive actually. Okay. Okay, so we have, I think, opened six tabs and now we'll open some more. Now, uh, with eight tabs open, going to every tab is very, very easy. As I said, rendering is very, very quick. Things like panning, zooming, etc. is effortless scrolling is too good so browsing with uh, 
browsing on Nokia 6.1 plus looks effortless very very fluid and it's really enjoyable in that way okay we'll get more tabs open so let's go to 10 maybe 11 Okay, now let's send it to the background. <clears throat> we will quickly check the multitasking now. So we have settings, store, camera, etc. open in the background. Let's try to resume the camera. And it happens near instantly. Okay. So what impresses me very much with uh, on Nokia 6.1 plus uh, the browsing is very good and actually I can see the pages rendering very very quickly so which is like as I said it's really enjoyable to browse on Nokia 6.1 plus with many tabs open now time to see how the uh, gaming works actually so we will not delve very deep into gaming like I will not go and play games but I would rather check that how like with four very heavy games open in the background how the device behaves and you will quickly see it so basically the idea is not to demo the gaming it's rather idea as to how it will handle the gaming so let's quickly op i mean kind of launch some games obviously we will do some heavy games so gta sa gta san andreas one of the heaviest games available still so let's go there Okay, so as you can see, we are here with the GTSA. Hey! Stupid bastard! Time to send it to the background. We will launch more games. One of the most, uh, I mean, kind of like asked about game is PUBG Mobile because uh, it's it's considered to be one of, again one of the heaviest games, and uh, many of our readers like us to you know use PUBG Mobile uh, as one of the games when we do this kind of performance evaluation. So we'll do that. So now let's see how PUBG Mobile behaves on this. And obviously, yes, we will open uh, at least four games and these kind of heavy games only. And then we can understand actually how uh, the device handles all of the games simultaneously. So that's the idea. Let us send you to the background again. So we have two heaviest of the games, GTA, San Andreas and PUBG Mobile open in the background. We will quickly open two more and then we will see how 
uh, I mean multitasking works with these four heavy games open in the background. So this is Injustice Gods Among Us. So let's open this as well. And then we will open Clash of the Clans and let's do the multitasking game to have an idea about how it handles. This isn't what we signed up for. I let myself believe we're making things better. But we're not. Man's aggression cannot be tempered, only quelled. We are here to save mankind. So many lives lost. Time to uh, launch the fourth game, fourth and last, Clash of the Clans. So you already know that uh, three heavy games open in the background. There's a browser with 11 tabs open in the background. And this is the fourth heavy game that I'm launching. So now we'll get a good idea about how the multitasking works. But in the meantime, I you may have noticed already how good the audio output is. So gaming is really enjoyable on Nokia 6.1 plus because audio is too good. And it's very loud and it, it, it is rich. So obviously that makes uh, the whole experience good. So this is Class of the Clans. Now it is open in here. Okay. So now let's check the multitasking part. So these four games are like now open in the background. Let's try to resume the GTA say and it resumes uh, almost instantly. So that is really impressive. Clash of the Clans. It also resumes well. Let's check the PUBG. It also resumes as well. I mean, it's quite good. So the only game that uh, I think reloaded is Injustice. So that may be more uh, related to the game than multitasking because I can see that all of the games they, they resume very well. Even the PUBG mobile has resumed well. What we can do, we can open one more game and then quickly see how uh, that gets handled. Which is our fifth game, which is Mortal Kombat. And it's also one of the heaviest games around on Android. So let's send it to the background then.
okay now we have five super heavy games open in the background the idea is to check whether it's still uh, the uh, resume is same or is there any issue so here we have a gtsa it resumes still well mortal combat it also resumes well pubg mobile it also resumes well so as we can see uh, the multitasking wise nokia 6.1 plus is a heavyweight I mean, uh, it has really a powerful heart, a powerful core, that a powerful processor. Obviously, the, it's the heart of the smartphone, the core is, the processor is. So, uh, we can see how well everything is handled here. Open the camera and it still uh, goes in one instant, which is really impressive. You have five very, very heavy games. It's like these are uh, the one of the heaviest games that you will see. And still, if I try to check the browser, there is no reload it's all resumes which is very very impressive actually if you ask me okay Yeah, but I think we have now uh, pushed the device to its extreme with these many, uh, you know, these many games, five heavy games open in the background. So, uh, if you ask me, I am really, really impressed with uh, how much load it can handle, the Nokia 6.1 Plus. It has got 4GB RAM, the Snapdragon 636 processor, and then um, it, it uh, has that pure Android feeling. And with all this, you know, great combination, it can handle four, five heavy games in the background. And those are not like uh, normal heavy games. They are one of the heaviest games uh, on Android. And uh, if you ask me, it hardly feels hot because like we had this video is already, I think 17, 18 minutes long and still it does not feel hot. It's quite good. So with that, we come to end of this video and we are really, really impressed with uh, the performance that Nokia 6.1 plus offers. Just thanks for watching. Stay tuned for